Hi, everybody. It's Jessica and Dave here. Today, we are going to talk about making your game plan throughout the season. With corn. With corn. So (laughs) one of the things that we want to talk about is the importance of making your game plan. So when you are approaching your season, there are just a lot of things to think about as the season progresses. So at the V2, at the V5, and the VT growth stages mainly. So if you don't... Yeah, so this is after planning. This is after emergence. And uh, you got the... You got the two main leaves coming out um, on the corn. I, I, I'm just recapping right. in case everybody's not familiar with yes. V2. So uh, that's that's one of the critical points. Uh, and like V2, just said, going back to that, yeah. V2 is vegetative. Yes. So vegetative, vegetative mm-hmm. two leaf stage. Two leaf stage. Yeah. Just the, the total background of it. Yeah, because once you once you hit uh, reproductive, then it goes R1, R2, and right. on with that. Um, yeah, so just like Jess said, there's a lot of critical um, points to the corn growing season, and we're going to highlight three, I feel, major points yes. of the corn growing season. So your first point of interest is going to be that V2 growth stage. So you have two leaves popping out of the ground, and a little bit more background on the, the growth staging is that first leaf of your corn plant is actually rounded. Yeah. It's and not pointed. That is a great point because everybody always asks, well, when I start um, trying to stage my corn, where do I start at? Well, how do I how do I start? And you always start with that rounded leaf. Right. And then a lot of times throughout that season, and by a lot of times, I mean every time, that rounded leaf will fall off. And the bottom leaves will start to kind of shed throughout the season. So as we progress, you'll have to grow stage your corn by cutting it open and actually counting the nodes in the plant. Yeah, so, it's a little bit more difficult. Right. But uh, earlier on, as long as you got that rounded leaf, you can always start. But for simplicity's sake, we'll just start t- talking about the V2 growth stage. So around that time, right in our game plan, first step is going to be tissue testing. Yeah, and tissue testing is always um, kind of the mainstay. I always say, uh, don't guess, tissue test. Right. And that's going to help you find your hidden deficiencies. So we call that your hidden hunger. Yeah, it, it, at this stage of the game, if if you're showing a deficiency, you're already behind the eight ball. And you're only at V2. And you're only at V2, yeah. <laughs> you are so. really not setting the stage. So this V2 stage, you want to set the stage for the rest of the year. If you if you start out strong, then you are more likely to finish strong. Yeah, it's the piglet, uh, piglet analogy, right? right? Then you know, everyone's like, what's the piglet Which analogy? I told you earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so... Just like when you're raising hogs, uh, if you have a piglet that's either a runt or somehow is not getting fed correctly, it'll never catch up. Uh, it'll be uh, smaller. You'll never feed it out to its full potential. It's the right. same way with corn. If uh, if it starts out um, deficient, you'll never catch up. Right. It's not like a football game where you can catch up in the last <laughs> quarter. I mean, I'm I'm a go sports kind of girl, as in I know nothing about sports, but I at least know that. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so moving into like the V5 growth stage, this is an essential part of the growing season. Yeah, I would say this one is tied with um, a VTR1. Of course, those are important because it's actually setting uh, yield. I call these the yield determining stages. Yeah, uh, the V5 stage is when... Uh, that ear is determining rounds around. And so I know there was a lot of chemistry uh, back before Roundup was mm-hmm. so popular uh, with corn that would um, actually reduce the rounds around. Well, they were being applied around this time, mm-hmm. and it would severely stress out the plant. Yeah, and, and so you'd have bottleneck ears. Or, as a yeah. result of the stress, it it knocks back the yield yeah. because – during this time, you really want to make it a stress-free environment for that plant. Really, you want to baby the plant as much it. as you yeah. can. Minimize stress. That's... Provide as many nutrients as you can to that plant so it is not in any way scavenging. Mm-hmm. As much as you can control, make sure it's not drought-stressed, moisture-stressed, just keeping the stress to an absolute minimum because these yield-determining stages are very stressful for the plant. So helping it overcome that and bring it into maximizing the ears around and and this is when this is when if you have compaction issues Mm -hmm. this is when when if you have insects feeding on the root issues uh really start uh showing up in the leaf tissue weed pressures weed pressures um uh, nutrient deficiencies um so as you're walking through there and you're scouting this is when uh, a good 
uh, understanding of what nutrients are showing up where. And that's is. if you didn't take your tissue test at V2. Yeah. Then Unfortunately, it's going to be showing, up, showing now. up now. Yeah. So it would have been present at V2, but the symptoms are going to start appearing. And as we've said before a thousand times, I always go back to it. If the symptoms are showing, you've already impacted your yield. Right. But you can protect what's left. Right. And so we need to figure out first what is causing the issue. Don't and, make the problem worse. Yeah, don't make the problem worse. And uh, figure out how to resolve the issue. Right. And then moving into the VT growth stage, which stands for tassel. Yeah, this is when the tassel shoots out and uh, pollination is, is imminent, if not already there. And during this time, some key things you need to be looking for are your diseases and deficiencies in insects. Yeah. Um, insects, if you're just walking around, you can see some egg masses. Mm -hmm. You got to catch those things after hatch and before they get into the crop. Right. Diseases. This is when you're going to start seeing um, the lesions creeping up from the bottom. All right. So those lower leaves will yep. have lesions on. You have not hurt yield yet. Right. It hasn't this affected is, the ear right. pollination. This is when you need to take control of that, yep. uh, i.e. applying a fungicide. All right. And then piggybacking onto the fungicide. I love piggybacking. We want to take the minimal amount of trips across the field as possible. So if you can piggyback nutritional into your fungicide trip, you're really doing a okay. Yeah. So and nitrogen and boron yep. are essential at this time. Um, nitrogen, of course, the building blocks of the plant, and boron essential during uh, reproductive. The plant takes up a lot of boron during this time. Um, it it helps with um, the uh, pollen, pollen and the production silk. and silk production at this time. So, which are both key pieces to the ear. Yeah. So you are not going to have yield if you don't have boron. It's a fact of life. If there's no boron, you're not going to have anything. That's correct. And then also, I want to say too, these nutrients are essential. Even though we're getting towards the end of the season, and you think, oh, whatever I had can carry me through. That's not true because. That yeah, if plant, you start ca cannibalizing the, yeah. the stalk, and then it's going to fall over. That in the plant hole. is going to really need those nutrients to help fill out grain. And like you said, it'll cannibalize on itself, making your stalks weaker, and it'll all fall over. So, yeah, it's this, the whole source of sink. Yep. So at this, at this stage of the game, uh, no matter what, that crop is going to put all its energy into those corn kernels, and it, it'll rob Peter to pay to Paul. So. Right. I know we mentioned the tissue testing only at the V2 growth stage, but I don't want to overlook that. It is absolutely essential at V5 and V2. So whenever you can, take a tissue test. Otherwise, you're going to be struggling. Don't yep. wait for the deficiency to occur. A lot of deficiencies yeah. look, look like each other. Right. So well, tissue boron sample. plays a great role in, um, in zinc mm -hmm. in nitrogen. Yep. So and some the of the times mm -hmm. they can look like a nitrogen deficiency, even though they aren't. Yeah. And you might misdiagnose that as nitrogen, but the nitrogen might just not be used efficiently because yeah. the others are deficient in that role. But I just want to make sure that we don't discount the importance of tissue testing at any point without the, throughout the season. And the same thing goes for diseases and insects. They can occur at any time, and you have to be on the lookout for them right. no matter what. Yep. But we will actually go into... These three topics, the V2, V5, and VT growth stages, more in the next three podcasts. So right now, you just got a nice overview of what to expect with your game plan and how to start working through that. But we want to go deeper into a dive on these in the next three. So stay tuned. And if you have any questions about what we've talked about so far, feel free to reach out to an Anderson's representative. You can find us at andersonsplantnutrient.com or find us on Facebook at Anderson's Plant Nutrient Agriculture. Thank you.